all of my books are autobiographical in some way. You know that even if they're not about my life, it's my voice and I pull from my life all the time. You know, somebody once gave me a, a t-shirt that said, be careful what you say or I might put you in my novel. Um, and, and I never think when I'm talking to people, oh, I must use that or write it down. But as I write, everything, everything that's ever happened to me just, just has this way of just coming out through my fingertips. And often unconsciously, actually, I, I don't um, even realize it until, until afterwards. With In Saving Grace, um, the storyline of Grace being misdiagnosed with something she doesn't have, and then being just medicated to the, the most frightening and dangerous level was something that, that did happen to me. And I actually, um, it ended up being Lyme disease. But in the beginning, um, first of all, they thought it was uh, chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia, and then came a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. And I remember the day that he said it, I said, I, I really, really don't think so. And actually, what had happened before, because I live in America and we, you know, we go and see doctors for everything, somebody had, had told me I had ADHD. And so I'd been taking amphetamines and he'd been, they'd been upping the dose and I was taking vast amounts of amphetamines for a good year. So I got very skinny um, and very edgy and very manic and eventually I stopped sleeping as you do. So, so then, you know, with this, and I was clearly not well, um, but then of course this doctor said, well, it's bipolar disorder. Look at you, Jane, you're, you're edgy, you're, you're manic and you're not sleeping. And I said, yes, but I'm taking vast amounts of amphetamines. And he said, basically, I'm, I'm a psychiatrist at Yale. I've never been wrong. Um, and which, oh God, now, I mean, the God complex that, that these sort of doctors have just is, is a big red flag to me now. Um, but at the time I felt so ill that I didn't really have the wherewithal to sort of fight it. And I, I remember saying, I really, but I've never had a problem sleeping. And I, you know, I really, this doesn't resonate with me in any way, shape or form. But I ended up being put on medications that, that really did, like grace, um, steal my life for, for over a year. And of course, when I eventually came off everything, I didn't get better. And that was when they, they discovered the Lyme disease.